today on Say Plays, I'm going to be playing Minor Wars 2081. This is a game that has recently come out on Steam. It was for sale pretty cheap for a while, and I finally plugged in my little code to, to uh, activate it. And uh, it has pretty low Metacritic scores, but I think it's mostly because people are upset that there's something about the developers not delivering the type of game they wanted when it was in beta or in Emergency. development. Evacuate the mines. Um, we are under heavy attack. Enemies are under superior heavy number. attack. Two mother ships yeah. with cruiser missiles stations on periphery. It's a descent style game. And I gotta turn down the volume because I cannot hear myself and that just kinda makes me crazy. <clears throat> There is give that military education of mine a workout. Let's kick some soap up. There is some story. I skipped the intro. Um, there's mining. As you can see in the bottom left, you have... Uh, you have to watch your fuel, your oxygen, your shields, health, stuff like that. Right now, I am mining. Uh... Yes, they keep talking. We'll the only if... God, what's going on? We need to get to the command center, check out the situation, and send a distress signal. Roger, confirmed. Okay, so essentially, they're making this first mission seem extremely time sensitive. And it's not really uh, until you actually see timers kicking down. Uh, so you do need to watch your fuel and your oxygen and everything. <coughs> and I'll probably not mine so much because uh, everything's shaking in this one and it's kind of annoying. But this game, you can turn in any direction you are in a ship. So can move up, down, strafe, left and right, rotate the ship if you want, uh, and you will have to. There's silver over there, I wonder if I should drill. You do have a drill on this ship, which I haven't quite figured out yet. Where is that? Is this silver? Well, that's magnesium. I decided to start over because, uh, my first couple hours I had no clue what I was doing and it took a little bit of figuring out because they don't really tell you too much about what's going on. <coughs> this is the ore extractor that I'm using by pushing V. You can also turn on a drill but that actually drills through the, the terrain or buildings or whatever and destroys or so I don't think I'm going to be using that. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to what I'm grabbing with this stuff. I should do that. Magnesium. Alright. Uh, that's good enough for now. If I see that silver on the other side or something, I'll probably grab it. <coughs> well, there's helium right there. I am a sucker for gathering in games. And I wish more single-player type games had it. <coughs> Harvesting completed. Harvesting completed. Okay. You can kind of tell what things are after you get used to it by looking at the color of the rocks. Um, Combat is pretty quick. I haven't seen much complexity to it. It can get a little difficult if you don't have cover. Uh, let's get it to some of that. It's easy to get lost in this game, but thankfully they have a nice guide system. You just push a button and it shows you 
where you kind of need to go. And that's a lot of helium, which is tempting me. What is this? Is this just stone? I don't even know. See, I just really figured out mining in my last game. All right. Helium and magnesium. Okay. Let me just keep going. That's so tempting. What is that? Oh. You don't take damage if you bump into stuff, which is nice because I get disoriented. It wants us to go this way. So we go this way. We got enemies coming in. It auto targets. Gives you a little crosshair where you need to aim. Usually they're really far away. Uh, if they get close, you can really take a beating. Um, there's a repair thing. If my armor was low, it would have automatically filled it. Uh, since it's not, it stores it in my inventory for later. Let me check this spot out. I want to get up to that silver somehow. This way. I wonder if this is a breakable door. I'm going to try my drill on the door. Blocked off with a rock. We could just do this. Why am I doing this? It's kind of cool that you can do this. That is a solar flare coming, and it's nothing to worry about because we're protected. But that is part of the storyline, I'm not really going to spoil it. But you do have to get out of the way of those. You know, I never actually dug straight through the rock like this to get to something. Yeah, I bet there's probably an easier way to get to it, too. I'm really good at not figuring this out. Hang on, I need to actually reply to someone really quick. <clears throat> okay. Everything's quiet until I decide to start recording something. Silver from this spot. Harvesting completed. 
down still. That's gotta be really close to silver. What, I didn't get any silver from that? That's strange. I might have destroyed it by mining like that. If you hear that noise, that is the solar flare. We must be close to the outside. Oh, there's still more silver. Alright, I am getting some silver. So that's mining. I don't know how rare silver is in this game, but um, that's probably good for this. Now I'm a little confused, so I'm going to turn around. We tunneled quite a distance. Um, and we're going this way. And it looks like we're going to have to shoot some stuff. So I'm going to turn, and then I'm just going to drop down. Because that's easier sometimes for me, if I can actually plan ahead properly. It can be hard to keep track of everything because there is a lot going on sometimes in these fights. Um, do you have missiles? Those are fun. I have 47 missiles at the top left. My Gatling gun ammo is up there. I haven't messed with other weapons. I am pretty sure there are some though. got some fuel here. And there's more silver 500 meters that way. Is this the tunnel we were digging? I don't know. I'm gonna let my friend deal with the combat if he can. They seem pretty weak. Alright. Marcus or whatever his name is. I wish you could customize your character, I wish you could customize your ship. You can buy other ships that I've seen, but they're really expensive. Uh, I will have to cut out some of this stuff or I switch and type. Warning, enemy detected. <coughs> Sometimes it seems like there are infinite enemies, so it's never really quite safe. Uh, at least not in missions. And I'm sure I'm passing all sorts of loot and whatever if I don't see it. This game is actually really hard for me to play, but I played Descent way back when that came out, Descent, Descent 2. And... I was going the wrong way. I think. Yeah. It wants me to blast this apart with missiles, but I want to save my missiles. And there is a more fun way to do this. With the drill. See? That's way more fun. I can stop it from 
balancing on it. That's good enough. Um, secondary canvas K. There, now I have a rear view mirror. <clears throat> the game boasts fully destructive environments. And it is kind of like that to an extent. It also says uh, open world, but that's a pretty loose interpretation. The levels are pretty big. I'm not really complaining about it. It's, this is the right it's still fun. I'd love if it was uh, a little less arcadey and a more simulation, but it's still fun. Let's see, camera hub. I don't know why I'm looking at this stuff. Main base is the next objective. Outside, look! My god, those ships are gargantuan. Looks like they're about to turn this station yeah. into ground. Maybe I should why? show This is a civilian operation. There's some what crazy things happening out right there. We need to get oh, to the other side. So we're fair. We're going inside. Your marker. Objective complete. The computer for your ship is a bit verbose. It can be a little annoying sometimes when you're out of armor and it keeps telling you out of armor like every 10 seconds. Finding a lot of fuel, I'm not finding oxygen. <clears throat> what would really make this game for me would be having some sort of crafting and a more in-depth trading system. Um, oops. Well, that really is a lot of Secure to dispatch. I think from a smaller company. I'm not really sure. Enemy alert. Oh, those are in the rocks. Or behind it. Warning. I'm Enemy smart. Detected. Uh, some kind of radar would be Enemy great. Alert. I wonder if other ships have those, or if I can buy an upgrade. Warning, enemy detected. Visuals look nice. I read on the forums people were having problems getting things to run smoothly, and uh, I don't know if they're just unlucky or what, but it seems to be good for me. That looks like something. Nope, that's a turret. If I see signs that are upside down, I damn the I whole command center is offline. The generators are fried. I can't believe this is happening. Let's get to the basement and try to fire up the emergency power unit. Affirmative. Objective complete. So, voice acting is there. Uh, Whatever, it's fun. Man, the voice acting could be worse. It's actually not bad. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I don't think I need to go in there. Warning, enemy detected. They're going to come right at this door, aren't they? Oh, they're going to come through this one. Maybe. Are they just going nuts? I guess so. Well, I have to go that way. Detected. 
Can I have missiles? Might as well use some. Uh, quick look around for stuff. Oof, that is disorienting. Remember, keep no one alive. This mission is classified. It's so classified, I'm gonna talk on the radio a lot. It's So, I don't really know how big the ships are that I'm in. <clears throat> I'm guessing it's pretty small. Because... Well, we could use some more supplies. Merchant mix. Too bad we can't help ourselves. Even in an emergency. See, I didn't actually see that last time. No free goods, no exceptions. Check it if you want, but we should get to the command center ASAP. Yes, we should get there ASAP. Okay. So, I can sell some of the stuff that I harvested. I'm gonna sell the stones because they're not worth much. I'm gonna go ahead and sell magnesium. Enemy alert. Yes, I know there's enemies. And I'm just double clicking to sell stuff. I know I've seen a better price for helium. Um, I think I'm going to save the silver and try to sell it elsewhere for a better price. Alright, so I've got all this stuff in my inventory. What do they have for sale? <coughs> Advanced armor. What do I have? Basic armor. Hmm. 17,000 I can spend. I can't get any of this other cool stuff. Which is a shame. I'm gonna grab an oxygen tank. Um, Hacking to level one, no. Solar I'm gonna grab the advanced armor. Did I actually get it? No. Enemy alert. All right. That's probably going to help. So the basic armor. And let's continue our little mission here. Get this thing over with. Warning, enemy detected. Is it this way? Yeah. It's a little great. Okay, and we got enemies coming. Okay. Good. Warning, enemy detected. My videos are so professional, I get distracted and everything, huh? Okay, we are going this way. Oops. Madeline, do you copy? Marcus, what's going on over there? This is serious. Our survey site is under attack. Heavy casualties. Enemy unknown. Madeline, we need you to get us out of here. Go to Hangar 1 and wait there. Madeline, we'll be at the meeting point on time. Just... just try to hurry. I just received a distress call. There are locked miners near you. Go help them. Objective complete. Locked 
miners. I think I was going this way earlier. Oof. What now? We can't hide in here forever. Trust me. If there are soldiers protecting us, they should be here soon. There seems to be some friends alive. Enemy alert. Enemy alert, where are they gonna come from? It's not so helpful sometimes. Oops. Am I actually going? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Coming. The situation is a bit more. We've had massive casualties. The enemy mm. crushed our defenses. This place is ready to blow. Fluid than that. What? We're dead. Take it easy. Just follow us. We'll make it through. At your back, sir. Lead the way. Warning. Enemy detected. There's some stuff to shoot. Some of these tunnels are pretty cool. Those get me. General, we have secured 17 hostages in open satellite way. Orders? Yeah, uh, it's funny seeing everyone bump into each other though. I get to wait for someone to show up, so I need to stock up on ammo. Enemies are probably going to keep showing up. There's fuel over here. Uh, wow, those guys are really on top of me. What is weapon control? Space to use weapon control. Oh, let's turn that on. That'll make this easier. Out of my way, gents, folks, whatever. Space to automatically loot stuff that I'm near. Oh, here's another weapon control thing. Let's turn it on too. Even though I think the majority of the attacks are. Where is the sun? Over there. There's a repair thing. Is it actually in this thing? Thing. Is it in this one? No, it isn't a big one. There it is. I think it's actually in it. Oh, I'm gonna drill. When in doubt, drill. You guys fight. I'm gonna drill. Okay. That one better be here. You can never 
mean that there's an eight one. way because we beat everybody and we saved the people hooray and this is our little transport ship which is not little I guess and you just fly in the side and you can store items here uh, those guys are having some issues they got in Oh, 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 now we can see the solar flare. Guys, move, move. Which, where, where's the sun? The sun's over that way, so it's gonna come. Whoosh. Oh, it's up that way. I think we'll be fine. I don't know if Marcus will be. Or that mine will work there. See, everything glows outside. That was not a good view of it. It's going away. It's neat. Alright. So. That is the first mission of Minor Wars. Uh, 2081. <laughs> These guys. Um. I think it's fun. I think it's worth a try, especially if you were a Descent fan back in the day. Uh, I do play with mouse and keyboard, which I just set up a couple extra buttons on my mouse for up and down movement, and uh, keyboard for rotate, and I'm fine. I think I played Descent with a joystick. I really don't remember. It was a long time ago. But thank you for watching Save Plays. I think I'm going to end this one here because it's getting kind of late. So, bye-bye. <laughs>